Hey guys, Joe back at it once again with some, well, maths lessons and uh, today we're going to be doing uh, further maths topics, uh, starting with complex numbers and uh, this is going to be quite a long series, uh, it'll be released 4 o'clock uh, pretty much every two days, I'm not going to promise, you know, that it will be strictly every two days but uh, we're going to delve into a bit of mechanics, uh, hopefully all the way up to mechanics 3 but, you know, uh, we'll see and a lot of further pure stuff as well and can I just stress before uh, I start if you're new around here I am NOT a qualified teacher um, I was very fortunate when I was in year 13 uh, just gone uh, I had the opportunity to teach a class and yeah I loved it and I thought I would uh, create some stuff for you guys who might be uh, thinking about taking further maths next year as an A-level it's all changed now um, and yeah, uh, see what it's like, maybe learn something new along the way and hopefully you'll enjoy learning. So we're going to start with the good stuff. Straight away I was going to do matrices but I thought well some of you guys will have already covered that in uh, GCSE Further Math so I'm not going to go there but if you want to see a lesson on matrices leave it down in the comment section below. But the good stuff, complex numbers. So what we're going to be doing today is understanding what's meant by a complex number and how to perform operations with them. So let's get into it. Here we go. We all know how to solve this, which is the square root of 36. Most of you would say 6, but it's actually plus or minus 6 because you get both a positive and a negative answer uh, when you root something. So it's the root of plus or uh, sorry, it's plus or minus 6 for the root of 36. We even know how to solve this. The root of 200. You'll be thinking, well, 200 is not a square number. So, yeah, we split it into thirds, which is a root 100, uh, root 2. And remember, root 100 is 10, so it's plus or minus 10 root 2. But how would we go about solving this? The root of minus 16. Now, you were saying, come on, you can't root negatives. There you go. Impossible, I hear you say. Technically correct, but you know, if you type this into your calculator, it'll give us math error. But let's think about root 16 as uh, root minus 16 as root 16 root minus 1. We all know how to root, work out root 16, that's just 4. So all we have to do is find the answer to that pesky root minus 1. But root minus 1 doesn't exist, so we have to imagine it does, and we call it i. No, uh, prizes for guessing what I means. Uh, I imagine it means uh, imaginary. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true, but here we go. Uh, so that means our answer to root uh, of minus 16 is plus or minus 4i, because obviously you've got 4 and you're times it by the root of minus 1, which we're going to call i. So a complex number is made up of both real and imaginary parts. Uh, we call this generic complex number z, it's made up of x, which are real, and i, y, uh, which are imaginary components. So there you go, z equals x plus i, y. So that's a complex number, that's the real part, that's the imaginary part. Interestingly, you can think of any number in the world, uh, so 1, 400, 532, as a complex number. It's just got no imaginary part, so if you, if you think about uh, I'll get me pen out. Why don't you? Um, if we if we cover that up, we're just left with the real part. So z equals 532 plus no i, which is a real number. So just like any number uh, in maths, you can perform the four operations on the complex numbers. So, given that z equals 2 plus 7i and w equals 3 minus 4i, find z plus w. Well, we just add together the real parts and the imaginary parts and we get 5 plus 3i so it's just like 2 plus uh, 7x add 3 minus 4x and you just collect like terms uh, z minus w exactly the same just take away like terms carefully double negatives and you get that and it's convention to write the real before the imaginary part so we always write minus 1 plus 10i and never 10i minus 1 uh, Z times W, a little bit more interesting. Uh, we just, it's like a bracket expansion, so you end up with that. Uh, 
Now think of what I squared could be. So I'll get my pen out again because I, I dipped out of uh, PowerPoint for a little bit there. Uh, so I squared, think of what I squared could be because it's root minus 1 times root minus 1. And we know that uh, a third times a third just pops the number out. So that equals minus 1, which equals I squared. So whenever you see an I squared, you can replace it with a minus 1, and that's exactly what we've done there. So it's minus 28 times minus 1, so it's going to be plus 28, so we end up with 34 plus 39. So z over w, a bit more interesting. 2 plus 7i over 3 minus 4i. Ah, oh, I haven't animated it correctly. But there we go. Just like thirds, mathematicians absolutely hate complexity on the bottom. So that means uh, we have to multiply top and bottom by something called the conjugate uh, of the bottom. So that's that bit. So thinking of anti thirds here, you would just change that to a plus. And you do exactly the same with complexity. You just change the sign in the middle so we can get rid of it when we're times out. So just like thirds, the conjugate just swaps the sign of the imaginary component. So here we go. W star, that's the notation for the conjugate, equals 3 plus 4i. So we we'll times it like that. Remember, remember an i squared equals minus 1. You end up with that which is that and that is the answer and that is today's lesson so that is a bit of an introduction to complex numbers uh, conjugates and uh, yeah adding them taking them away times in them and dividing them so you might want to go on the internet just find some examples of them I haven't got any worksheets created for these um, but there you go uh, so hopefully you guys have found it helpful you know please leave a like if you did um, you know leave your feedback down below and just just to stress again um, I'm not a qualified teacher so you know if I'm rubbish then that's why but uh, these are just created purely for fun and to help you guys out but there you go and uh, that is complex numbers we'll be back in a couple of days time for the next complex numbers lesson and we'll be talking about uh, making equations and stuff like that so uh, thanks for watching guys and Hope you're having a great day. Goodbye.